Suddenly benefits from divine protection of some kind. Yggdrasil fell to earth not far from here, yet the temple buildings escaped entirely unscathed. I know that face. That man is a knight of Heliodor. <laughs> Heliodorian swine! You think that your blockade will break us? Think again. The disciples of Angrilla are made of sterner stuff as you will soon see. What in the... These movements must be intended to confound us. Be on your guard. They may attack from any angle. Enough, all of you. Is this how we treat visitors? As your High Lama, I order you to stand down. Your Holiness, these people are not visitors. They are soldiers of Heliodor. We cannot be sure of their intentions. Soldiers of Heliodor, you say? The tall one, perhaps. But his young friend does not look like a military man to me. <gasps> I sense a great power within you. Tell me, young man, are you the luminary? Incredible. He divined your true identity with a single glance. How long we have waited for this day. Please, you must forgive my disciples' discourtesy. Their training is... incomplete. Welcome to Anguilla, honored luminary. It would please me if you would join me in the high hall at the top of the temple. We have much to discuss. Strange child, but remarkably perceptive for one so young. There is more to him than meets the eye, that much is certain. Well, we have come this far. We might as well make our way to this high hall of theirs and see what he has to say. to Anguilla, honored luminary. As I believe you know, it is my privilege to serve as High Lama of this most sacred temple. I am to address you as Your Holiness, correct? Might I ask what you and your people know of my companion? Why everything, of course. We have awaited his coming ever since the day he entered this world in the castle of Dundrasil. Waiting for him? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I say, nothing more. Tell me, do you recognize the symbol on this banner? It is the emblem of Dundrasil. Since the Age of Heroes, the princes of that nation have come here to train with us for six years of their youth. Your young friend was born a prince of Dundrasil. Thus do we expect him to come here as a boy and study under the great Grand Master Pan. Sadly, that was not to be. So if fate had been kinder, you would have spent a good part of your childhood here. What of his tutor, this Grand Master Pan you speak of? When the Lord of Shadows brought the World Tree low, the Master set out to summon a magical mandala to protect the temple from destruction. The 
The spell succeeded, but its power was too great. Grandmaster Pang did not return. Noble sacrifice, indeed. Now that the Master is gone, it falls to me to guide you. Come to the Field of Discipline. It lies behind this hall. There is something you must see. It is a shame that the Grand Master cannot be here. I would have liked to meet one so noble. Come, let us see what His Holiness has in store. lies the field of discipline where students of Anguilla strive for enlightenment. Before we tread upon this hallowed ground, let me tell you a little of our history and of the luminary of legend himself, Erdwin. Before setting out to defeat the Dark One, Erdwin came to our temple to learn from the Wise Ones who made their homes here even then. The first Grand Master, i.e accepted him as a disciple and trained him in the secrets of spiritual realization. But he did not train alone. During his time here, he met someone. Someone who would change his fate forever. Who was this person? Another of Ai Yi's disciples. A young mage whose talent outshone that of all who had come before. A man named Morkant. Erdwin and Morkant would train together every day, each striving to outstrip the other. Though they were fierce rivals, they became firm friends. When their training was complete, Morkant joined with Erdwin in his quest to slay the Dark One. Without Morkant's magic, he might never have prevailed. Before setting out, they carved an inscription into this stone. A pledge of eternal friendship. It has been a treasure of ours ever since. Morkant. I have not heard the name before. Now allow me to show you to the field of discipline, if you would be so good as to follow me. field of discipline. Since the age of heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilled sweat and blood upon these flagstones. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang, like all the princes of Dundrasil before you. I have brought you here so that you might stand in the footsteps of your ancestors, an unbroken line leading all the way back to the age of heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. The memory of his achievements shall live long in the temple's memory. His achievements? <laughs> Pang was a harsh master. With this implement, disciples whose efforts were lacking were given motivation. Directly to their fundament. It became known as the Naughty Stick. During the course of his six years of tuition, your grandfather's right honorable posterior was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. The tale of Lord Robert's road to enlightenment lives on to this day. Every disciple knows that he must focus at all times, lest he face the same fate. A legendary achievement indeed. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master and emerged stronger every time. 
The fall of the world tree would not have been enough to extinguish one so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. Tonight there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. We would be greatly honoured if you would join us. We may not be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Pang still with us, but in this respect at least we can provide. Awake at last, hmm? It is high time we were on our way. If the Grand Master were still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against the Lord of Shadows. Sadly, it was not to be. on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable to reach him. I see. Your Holiness, is there a problem? Yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us, unannounced, then just as suddenly departed for the top of the mountain. Hello? Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen climbing the path to the summit. The mountain has become infested with monsters, emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. This being so, I dispatched a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can see, things did not go quite as planned. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed in my first true test. I have brought shame upon Angrila. Might we be able to offer some assistance? I thank you for your kindness, but you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. A knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I cannot allow you to bear this burden alone. I shall come with you. We must depart for the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east in order to begin our ascent. Thank you. 
It seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. I am glad at least that he was prepared to meet his fate. But that posture, it is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. Incredible! Issue one of the Ogler's Digest. And in mint condition. <gasps> ah, indeed. It seems our friend here made his peace with the world before departing. This, at least, is some small solace. But this... This is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a lowly hermit have such a... <gasps> by the skies! Can it really be? Lord Robert! Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. Can he have chosen to follow his mentor to the next life, perhaps? No! He is still breathing! What? His spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. But there may yet be a way to save him. If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. How? Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. But it is not a decision to be taken lightly. Once that place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Well, Will you take that chance? Will you visit the Void and bring Lord Robert back to us? Hmm. Very well. I will prepare for the ritual. Tell me when you are ready, and we will begin. It is time to depart for the place to which every soul must go, but from which few ever return. It is time to perform the rite. What is this foolish dance? What manner of ritual is this? Another wandering soul drifts into my domain. Welcome, child, to the end of your journey. Destiny is cruel indeed to send me one so young. This may be a fruitless question, given the vacant expression you wear, but do you know what fate awaits you here? Oh, you poor young fool. You have no idea of the suffering to come. Let me unburden you of at least a little of your ignorance. I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot may understand. As you see, 
This world is a blank slate. It is a place of nothingness. Before Yggdrasil fell, departed souls would come here before returning to the world tree. But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no exit. A dead end for the dead. A spiritual cul-de-sac. What I'm trying to tell you is that you will never leave this world. Before long, your soul will dissipate and be lost to the void. As long as the cycle of souls is interrupted, all who die will suffer the same fate. Until at last, the Lord of Shadows is the only one who remains. This is your destiny. Accept it, for you cannot change it. Or do you cling to the vain hope that the heart of Yggdrasil may be recovered from Mordigan's clutches? If you do, you are a fool. And yet, you would not be alone in your foolishness. There are others who refuse to accept that all is lost. Some people just don't know when to give up. that he chose death out of a sense of despair. You could not be more wrong. He came here with hope in his heart. The hope that one day he will defeat the Lord of Shadows. Your grandfather came to find me so that I might teach him the last of my secrets. You know who I am, of course. Foolish child. I am Pang. Grand Master of Anguilla. Your grandfather's teacher and tormentor. Do you see the magic circle that surrounds him? <laughs> the precise pattern of movements draws energy from the ether and channels it to create the Mandala of Idris. This is the final secret. He has been flailing away like this ever since he arrived here. It is not good for him at his age. But when the Great Sigil is complete, he will have mastery over a power not seen since the Age of Heroes. Get out, mate! Don't you dare give up now! I'll beat your bottom black and blue, I swear it! Oh. Would you look at that? Perhaps he is not completely useless after all. <sighs> hey! Did you see that? I finally did it! Oh, it was beautiful! Hmm. Yes. Very impressive. I thought you had gone soft in your dotage. But it seems you still have some guts. 
Well done. Jinx, Grandmaster Pang, was that praise? Woohoo! For the first time in my long life, she's actually paid me a compliment. Oh, that's worn my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff. Ugh. Perhaps if you could stop congratulating yourself for one moment and squint beyond the end of your bulbous nose, you would see we have a visitor. Oh my! Is it... is it really you, laddie? Oh, no, you as well. Your poor young life snatched away from you. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Oh, stop your snivelling. The boy is alive. He's what? But, but what's he doing here, then? He and his friends found your body and sent his soul from the world above to bring you back. Ah, oh, really? But I only came here to... And you went to all that trouble. As you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Finer than ever, in fact. Now that I've learned the final secret, you and me are going to be unstoppable. Come on! Let's get back to our bodies and show that Lord of Shadows what we're made of! Stop right there! Where do you think you are going? I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Grandmaster. But now that my training's finished, I need to be on my way. <laughs> finished? Oh... But we haven't even begun. Honored Luminary, if you would like to follow me. Your grandfather has mastered the last secret of Angry La. He now has the power to send enemies straight to the beyond. It is a technique first devised in the Age of Heroes by Morkant, brother in arms of the Luminary of Legend. For you, I have a technique no less impressive. An attack of such incredible power that it can tear through all four dimensions. It was devised by Erdwin himself during his training with Ai-Yi, our first Grand Master. And it will give you strength beyond reckoning, Luminary. Well, that can't be a bad thing. Me with Morkant's spell and you with Erdwin's attack. We'll be unstoppable. If you can master it. None since Erdwin has been able to do so. The training you must undergo to acquire this power will be more intense, more relentless more excruciating than any you have faced before. Well, do you think you have what it takes to endure this most trying of trials? I knew you would make the right choice. Now, let us begin. The first step is to focus your mental energies and call forth a blade of pure light. Hold out your hand and try. As good as can be expected for a first attempt. The heat of battle should help to speed you up a little. Battle? You mean you're going to fight him? Oh, no, the poor lad's not ready. Me? Why would I rumple my nice clean robe when I have you to do my dirty work for me? B what? You're, you're going to make me fight my own grandson? Who better, Lord Robert? You have mastered all our secrets now. 
There is no one better suited to the task. And besides, I've always wanted to see two princes of Dundrasil battling it out. Let me know when you are ready to begin. Before we continue, allow me to give your grandfather an unfair advantage. All in the name of speeding up your training, of course. Mm. Oh. 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 Oh, I've not felt this alive in decades! Let me add a little blighter! That's the spirit. Don't hold back. Show him the true power of our last and greatest secret. Just you watch me. Luminary, prepare yourself. Beat back the onslaught and unleash the technique if you can. The more you use it, the stronger it will become. You must practice until it is perfect. Here I come, laddie. It's time to show you what this old man can do.
Oh, yes. Wonderful. I couldn't have beaten him more soundly myself. I must say, I doubted you had it in you. But you have proved me wrong. And for once, that is no bad thing. The power of the technique comes from your heart. Hone that greatest of weapons, and none will be able to stand before you. Now, I think it's time we peeled that old degenerate off the flagstones, don't you? You beat me, even with the last secret of Angrila in my side. Oh, I can't believe how much you've grown, laddie. You weren't too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. <gasps> so this is where you have been hiding. Wait, I know that voice. More to go. Sniveling worms. You thought to escape my clutches by cowering here in this ruined world. You have only delayed the inevitable. No! Ah! Ah! Curse you! I had thought your powers could not reach us here. <laughs> It seems I underestimated you. So inconsiderate. There was one last thing I wanted to teach you. Fine. It seems we must do it the hard way. You two will just have to learn the ultimate ability here and now. Or... Die trying. What? So the last secret of Angry La was they the last one? And Quadra Slash wasn't either? Of course not, foolish man. There is another. A supreme skill devised by Grandmaster Ayi. One that Erdwin and Morkan performed together. Well? Don't just stand there! <laughs> Combine your powers! Revive the technique that was lost to us so long ago. So that I can die happy. You dare to resist me? You must do exactly as I say. Exactly when I say it. <gasps> We have only one chance. Robert, do not think. Act. Use the technique I taught you. Quickly! He is back with us. Oh, 
<sighs> but he is greatly weakened. We must get him to the temple right away. Ah, you are finally awake. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Lord Robert awoke a short while ago. He is outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. late than never, eh? What are you staring at me like that for? Is there something on my face? It is your physique, Lord Robert. You were a good deal slighter only a short time ago. Heh! <laughs> oh, that! Nothing a good breakfast couldn't cure. Aye, the Grand Master put me through worse on more than one occasion. Lord Robert has told me what came to pass in the void, that you met Grand Master Pang, and that she trained you in the ancient arts. I hear that you were even able to master the ultimate abilities of your ancestor Erdwin. You have my congratulations. And I hear that I owe you a debt of thanks, Sir Hendrik, for looking after the boy here while I was away. Please think nothing of it, my lord. It is the least I could do to make amends for all the wrongs I have done. Indeed, I feel I must apologize. Ah, oh, don't torture yourself over it, son. We've all been pawns in Mordigan's game. You have nothing to apologize for. Thank you. Truly. What do you intend to do now? We had hoped to find guidance here in Angry La, but alas, we find ourselves at an impasse. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pang told me. She said Old Erwin used a very special form of transport when he went after the Dark One. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Whatever could that mean? I didn't get the chance to ask her any more about it. But it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and knock Mortigan off his perch. As for our old friends, none of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? If I'm still alive and kicking, you can bet the rest of them are out there somewhere. So, what say we head over to Arborea and keep an eye out for our pals on the way? If this flying doodad's supposed to be sacred, the folks over there'll know something about it for sure. There's no time to lose. The longer we wait, the stronger Mordigan gets. So, let's get going. training regime for you. Visit us again soon. We will stand ready to help you hone your powers. 